Hello everyone, welcome to the world of continuous improvement. I am Mohit Sharma, your mentor and coach on how to resolve continuous improvement issues and problems. In today's video, we will learn about what is Agile and what is Six Sigma. And then we will learn about how they are different. And in the end, we will also see that how they can complement each other and can be used together. So let's begin. Agile is not a methodology, but a set of values and principles that guide software development teams on how to do their work. And Six Sigma is a process improvement methodology that uses statistical quality control methods to lessen the defects and quality issues. Agile emphasizes collaboration, customer engagement, and responding to change compared to rigorous process implementation, documentation, and planning that a non-agile approach like a waterfall are known for. On the other hand, the focus of Six Sigma is to control the variation and reduce the defects. This entails getting to the root causes of the problem and eliminating the reasons for quality issues. By ensuring consistency and quality, Six Sigma companies can achieve higher level of customer satisfaction. Friends, you can buy my authored books on Amazon. My first book is Eight Steps to Problem Solving which talks about Six Sigma concepts. And my second book is Continuous Improvement, The Lean Way, which talks about the lean concepts. Now let us understand the difference between Six Sigma and Agile. When we look very closely, Six Sigma and Agile methodologies can be deemed as conflicting approaches. This is primarily because they have different objectives. Six Sigma focuses on process control and standardization by reducing the defects and variation while Agile focuses on flexibility to change and incremental delivery. Rigorous documentation and planning is required in Six Sigma, while Agile emphasizes responding to change, team interactions, and customer collaboration. In the end, let's see how the Agile and Six Sigma approaches complement each other. Software teams can use Six Sigma in tracking process improvements within Agile practice. It starts with identifying a problem or a goal. It could be about repeatedly missed deadlines, high defect rates, frequent requirement changes, scope creeps, or too many bugs in the system. The team needs to gather data about the problem that they want to zoom in. They would use process metrics to have a better understanding of the problem, then analyze what could be the root cause of it. Then they can develop the ways to improve the process based on their analysis and then they can continuously measure if the performance and the results are within the standards that they have set in. That's doing DMAC on software development process. This can happen within agile environment. Say a software development team is using Scrum. One of the ceremonies used in Scrum is called Sprint Retrospective. This is when team gathers to reflect on the recently concluded sprint and they discuss what they did well and what they could improve upon. This is a venue where a process problem can be raised on any part of the Scrum process. And this is where improvement projects can be triggered. So friends, I hope I am able to clear the difference between Agile and Six Sigma methodologies and how they can be used together. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. I'll see you in my next upcoming video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.